And we're back with some more RimWorld on our mildly unusual playthrough here. So we've got a... The Empress has just arrived. She's just settling in. And unfortunately, we don't have much time to let her settle in because we're immediately under attack. I think... Where is it? Uh, yeah, Middle has almost gotten over here to recharge themselves. We were uh, sending them over here to do a little bit of... Wait, why can't you... Turns out if you want to slaughter things, you've got to put them on handle. Handle is the only way people will slaughter. Without that, they won't do it. Okay, well, good to know. We'll... we'll have them uh, just uh, take care of a few of these problems for us. That will charge back up their meter now that they're equipped with the proper weaponry. We have other things we need to deal with right now, and that is the raid from the mech hive that are attacking. Now, it's a dual prong one, so it seems like one batch seems to be landing over here, and another batch is landing over there. I'm going to lock the doors, and I'm going to let them fight it out with the pirates. Then once they've finished killing the pirates, because let's face it, there's no way the pirates are going to survive against the mechs, uh, we'll... Oh, and there's a third batch over there. Well, okay, please don't be centipedes. Please don't be centipedes. Please don't be... Hey, the... Mm. Well, we got three over there. Uh, we got another ten over there. And finally, we got another 15... <laughs> we got 15 centipedes in total. Well, let's close the doors. Quick, 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 quick. Lock the doors. Yeah, I do not want to deal with that many centipedes. That many centipedes is death. All right. Yeah, quickly close the door. We're leaving this on slow speeds for now. All right, once that door closes, they should decide that coming in here is a bad idea. There's no other way to get in here. Hopefully, hopefully, they don't come after us. The plan seems to be working. Uh, already one of these is on its way in. Though it's probably going to soak more than I would... Ugh, that was a waste of explosives. They've got an awful lot more that they have to deal with in a very short order. In fact, we probably want to start prepping our defences because we're going to have to deal with them once they... Whoa. Why is there something green out here? Is that... Is that our emu? Never mind. No, no, that's just not a friendly animal. Uh, uh, let's, uh, let's see what the... Oh, let's see what happens to the poor pirates over here. They're still waiting on their uh, components. Well, fun as that was, the pirates managed to last a grand total of 2 minutes and 10 seconds, which, you know, that's actually pretty decent. Though they've left us behind a bunch of packaged survival meals, which might actually not burn. Also a couple of sentry shells, though I think all the mortars got exploded. I was kind of hoping they'd leave those mortars behind, I was curious if we could claim them and then try and finish building them. We still can't build mortars, remember, we have... Yeah, our research is, uh, medieval to say the least. Okay. Let's see what else, what we got left to deal with. We have four centipedes over there and another... Ooh, okay, so 11 centipedes in total and some other chaff that we don't really care about too much. It's time to open these doors or they're going to start smashing on the walls. Uh, let me break that open right there. With the door open, that should mean the, the moment they run out of pirates to murder, they'll turn around and come straight for the kill box. If we didn't have it open before the pirates left, they might start smashing on our doors. I'd prefer if they didn't. All right. Let's start getting everyone prepped. I don't think I have the doors locked. No, I don't, and I haven't put in uh, zones yet. I should really do that about now. One of the things we want to do is we want to make sure they come in here and we want to split them up. So I'm thinking we're going to see if the uh, centipedes bunch up. If they do, we chaos skip them so we don't have to deal with as many of them all at once. I'd prefer to slowly dribble them in and, you know, munch them in bite-sized quantities. All right, I'm, I'm beginning to feel like maybe activating the ship engine and doing the stellar quest at the same time might have been a bad idea. Uh... Another siege has shown up already. We haven't even... What? Okay, fine. So it's a siege, a centipede drop, and another siege. Um, I say we lock the doors. Yeah, let them fight it out some more. This um, this might bizarrely work in our favor where our enemies spend so much time killing each other they don't have time to kill us. Uh, I'm afraid you are getting straight out of bed, buddy. We need to lock those doors immediately. We want to make sure the centipedes and the pirates start killing each other. Uh, hopefully they'll turn around. Oh, wow. How, what kind of weapons are they armed with as well? They've got, ooh, a few Doomsdays, some triple rockets, ah, only one grenade, and who's got Molotovs? Well, that's going to be useless because all mechanoids are fireproof. Good luck to you. All right. Oh, get out of the door. And done. That should close that off, and now they should retarget the pirates. Go on. Stop. Stop. Stop and think. 
No? None of you? None of you want to stop and think, come on, you know you want to. All right, we'll give it a minute and see what they do. If they don't, we'll have to just hold a... Oh, wait. Oh, some of them have changed their minds already. Ah, yes. Sometimes, Randy, you are so good to me by being mean. You know what? Whatever. You know what I mean. You know what? We're we're going to start prepping. There seems to be... I think the pirates are going to win this. Uh, seems the second round's the charm. There's how many... There's, there's not enough, enough centipedes left. There's three centipedes and a few pikemen. But realistically, I don't see them winning this. It's time to start opening up the kill box. Assuming they attack us, if they don't, we'll have to go out, invisibilize, maybe use a doomsday on them. That... That worked out perfectly. Oh, and we've still got those survival meals left. Uh, let me get some people prepped. I want to make sure we have uh, doors closed, things like that covered, just because we're going to have to send someone out with a doomsday, and we're going to have to run them. Where's the index? I did a quick check, and as far as I can see, there's about 22 human corpses over here, which means the pirates are definitely going to attack. I can't see them trying to do a siege at this point. I've uh, set Knuckles to open the door, went them back to work. Yeah, I think we'll, these, these will be migrating to our kill box soon enough. It'll be nice to actually give it a spin. We're going to use, uh, well, we're going to use Berserk Pulse to drive them all insane and hopefully make them kill each other instead of us having to do anything. It's really the only way we're going to survive this is hopefully turn enemies against each other and fight as few of them as possible. We just do not have the numbers or the resources to tackle them. Eh, well, we'll let those finish each other off and see what happens when they, they're all through. Wait a minute, wait a minute, what? Why, why are you fleeing? What, what are you fleeing from? There's like 58 of you. And there's like, a, there's three pikemen left. What are you doing? Um, okay. I mean, I was kind of impressed with them for a while, and then that just kind of all petered out into terribleness. All right, over here, we're uh, stripping out some of the rocks. It's been pointed out that once once something is on the top of the rocks, yeah, they don't slow down. It's only when they go in between, up, down, up, down type of thing. So we need to uh, maybe modify this a bit. I don't you forget all the good stuff as you go along. Uh, we'll fix this up and then we'll deal with, what, three pikemen? Yeah, there'll be three pikemen to show up badly injured at some point. Ah, uh, Muppets. Well, thank you, Randy, for solving our problems for us. One great thing about this is these travelers get to pass through in peace. They get to pass through our nice, peaceful area and all they see is just oodles of blood, destroyed corpses of mechanoids and all sorts of things. Yeah, yeah, well, I think this seems like a perfectly normal, reasonable base. To deal with these incoming... Well, very, very wounded pikemen. We're just going to have uh, these two join in. Tom, stay out of the way. Let, let them handle this. Let them handle this. They, they got this. Where are you, what are you doing? Why are you hauling that over there? But now that the pikeman is here and out in the open, let's just make sure it goes down really quickly. We'll use our two newbies for this. They might as well. Where are you hauling that? I thought I took... Sorry about this. Well, I kind of wish they'd hurry up. It's been uh, it's taking them too long to get here so that we can kill them. Come on. There we go. Hey, did you hit that guy? Wow. You actually did do some damage. Bruise from the pikeman. Eh, Grant. You know what? This one, this last one is way too wounded and way too slow. We're going to break in and go kill it when the time comes. We'll have... Uh, you, know, you can stay over there. And you can wait here. Once it goes around the corner, we'll just surround it from both sides and, and kill it. We are currently on day 11, and the next present from Randy is... Well, okay, it was actually a royal tribute collector, which are on their way over. I hadn't brought it up yet because, well, they hadn't quite cleared the edge of the map. Uh, there's no real point dealing with the royal tribute collectors. We don't have... We have, like, 50 gold, I think, but not really worthwhile. Well, actually, I should count up uh, the points on Chief, just in case an extra point might help him get an extra Doomsday Strike. Over here, we've got... 83 humans, and they are sappers, because of course they are. They're always sappers. All right, in that case, we will just have to wait until they decide where they're going to go, then send out our people to Berserk Pulse them, and... Wait a minute. They're all melee. Oh, excellent. Excellent. If they're all melee, that just makes it so much simpler. All we'll do is we'll just stick some people on the opposite side of a door, we'll tank with the, the newbies. Yeah, we'll tank with the newbies, and then we'll just chuck grenades at them until they're uh, all, you know, paced. Are you about to attack a wall over there? Oh, never mind. Uh, let's skip it forward and see where they go. It looks like they're going to come over here and dig at their usual spot. That is... that's fine. All right, we'll get everyone over. We've got some grenades, we've got some weapons, and hopefully we'll get through to this before they get through the... Wow, what's your construction speed? Four. I and mean, that's not actually too good. And one moment. 
We are good to go, I think. Ooh, wow, there's a lot of them. It's fine, it's fine. Nails, uh, get in there. And now I think we'll just open the door. There's no point letting them kill it. And uh, we will hold that open. You just stand there for a minute more. And we're going to have you target ooh, right about there. Perfect. And then you are going to target just behind that. Or just at the same spot. Right about there. Yep, that'll work. Pamela, you've shown up. Excellent. Uh, grab out the gun. Give a hand. Thumb. Ooh, Berserk Pulse. Can you target the ground right about there? Let's see. Right about... If we hold down shift, we should allow us to target ground. Uh, oh, right about there. Yeah, there they go. They can kill each other now. Perfect. Uh, middle. I want you to switch to gun. Thumb. Switch to auto shotgun. This is the perfect location for it. Oh my god. That is just wrong. Oh. Yep, yep. Why would you voluntarily go into that meat grinder? I have no idea. What are you doing? Why aren't you killing them? There you go. Much better. And they're gone. In fact, yeah, let's stop throwing the grenades. They've got some beer. Thanks for the beer, guys. Bye. We're getting our cleaning up going on. We're still on, what is it, day 11, and our next raid has arrived. Actually, let's get rid of some of these ones. They're getting a bit flashy. Uh, it's a raid from the Pact of Toxos. They'll prepare for a while and then attack, and they're not sappers. They're, they're not sappers. They're not anything special. They're just a normal raid. So they'll prepare for a while and then come in. There's 67 there, and there is 57 there. Ooh, should we activate the centipedes? Or, hmm, that might be an idea. You know what? They're in close enough. What's their weaponry like? Yeah, mix of range and everything. Oh, you're going to stand right there. Oh, oh, that's just taunting me. Oh, well, never mind. They taunted themselves. <laughs> uh, down here, I've expanded the animal zone so they can go down and pick up those animals. And oh, God. Let's throw that down a bit. Yeah, that did not go well for them, did it? <laughs> well, no. They're actually not doing too badly. Did they kill anything yet? No, not really. Though they, they have surrounded the centipede and scratched it. <laughs> oh my god. Which are, oh, we should also close these doors. Uh, yeah, we'll close those doors. And I'm going to have to bring the animals back inside so that they don't attract any unwanted attention. Uh, clear safe animals. I was uh, trying to bring back all these uh, packaged survival meals. If we've done this right, yeah, those tribes people are fleeing. That's probably a good sign. And over here, how are we doing? You, chief. Get in there and close that door for us if you wouldn't mind. And that should cause the rest of the tribes people over here, when they're ready, to go over and attack that mess. Though, I don't think they're going to do nearly as well as the last ones, because, you know, they weren't right on top of them when the attack started. Oh god. That was just a... that was a slaughter. That was just a terrific slaughter. Well, unfortunately, the, uh... The royalty people got caught outside. It's unfortunate, but it happens. Oh. No, 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 no. What are you doing coming in here? Oh, they're after the animals. Okay, I'll, I'll zone the animals out of here so that they go over here and definitely fight with the tribals. There we go. Once the door closes, they should quickly change their mind. Right, and what happened to the royalty? Oh, yep, they all got slaughtered. Well, sorry, guys. No, I was not going out to help you, and no. No, no, animals back inside. Well, the people inside are busy killing each other. I thought I'd uh, double-check the doors. What? Why are you getting in there? Holding auto pistols and stuff. You know what? I think I'm going to stop them going in here for a bit. Just... For a little bit. You're, it's just their urge to kill themselves is too strong. A few adjustments to the zones and they stopped bothering to go in there for now. Now we get to watch the tribals get horribly slaughtered by, well, a whole bunch of... Where? No! What? God damn it. One second while I sort out the zones. I really should have sorted out all those zones uh, a lot earlier in this. It's just uh, I keep changing it because I want to get this out of there and get it fixed so that those uh, sandstone chunks can be removed. Oh, wow. We're going to have to fight this. Once the tribals flee, we're going to have to go out there and face what's left. There's going to be an awful lot left. What are you guys doing over here? Yeah, you're going to flee later. Damn, well, at least they killed some pikemen. And, oh, it's a bit hot, buddy. You might want to move. <laughs> All right, we'll get, uh, we're going to have to get the team together. Our first serious engagement is about to kick off. It It's still... Day 11. Yep, still still day 11. And we've got another raid. This time it's the Mechives again. And they're dropping right on top of us in drop pods and they will attack immediately. 
Uh, this would appear to be where they're landing, which is bad. This is this is bad. This is really bad. Um, we've also got these up front. So what will happen is they're going to drop, and then this crowd or whatever is going to finish breaking whatever's here, and then they're going to come for us. We need to we need to kill whatever this is really, really, really quickly, or otherwise this is going to tear through the back of us. And if we don't kill these guys, well, they'll tear through the front of us. So plan? Need a plan? Um, Doomsday them? Probably doomsday. It's a small raid, so hopefully it's not centipedes. I mean, it's it, when stuff drops right on top of you, it's normally smaller. Yeah, I think we doomsday them with an invisibilized person. Then whatever's left over, we try and... Oh, we might have to pull back to here. Oh, God, this is going to be a mess. Let me think. I think I have an idea. My theory is, is this, this is going to be hopefully light units. Therefore, we grab uh, nails here, equip them up with one of these uh, doomsdays that we've got lying around, get everyone else around the corner here, especially someone with uh, invisibility. We invisibilize them and get them to fire doomsday right into the middle. And presuming they're light units, they should shred most of them, making our lives an awful lot simpler. Uh, everyone else is coming down here to hold the line. Animals and everything run their way back in. Ooh. Yeah, how many? Oh. That might actually be too few drop pods. You know, I'll worry about it in a minute. Uh, we're also getting this person, Gentros, to go over here and open the door. They're going to be a bit slow about it. Their left foot is destroyed. The, the time it takes them to move all the way over there versus over here, yeah, we, we just wouldn't get them there. So we'll get them to open the door for us. Okay, nails. Uh, we're going to get you to head over there. Um, get you to grab it. Okay, considering the wind-up time, now might be a good idea. Let's, uh... Yeah, right there. Hmm... I almost feel like putting it down more on there because there's five bunched up, but no, no, no. All right, so Irene, get behind cover. Everyone else is on their way through. And you, you stay right there. I haven't zoned you, but I'm going to keep an eye on you. You try something stupid, I will notice. Okay, they're starting to pop. What's that at? Ooh, that's almost ready to fire. Okay, uh, who's got inv invisibility? You do. Pinky, make them invisible. I don't want them getting targeted. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Oh, stuff that I do not like. Oh, <laughs> oh tribes people from the Pact of Toxos are fleeing. That's, uh, that's bad. That means all of these are now about to start coming this direction. Well, they will once the doors open. Well, once they've finished chasing the tribals to the edge of the map, they'll then turn around and find the next target, which is us. Mm, right. Okay, well, over here, we have managed to injure a bunch of them, but that's not enough. Um... Next plan is Psychic Insanity Lance. Now, this is... This has always been our main... Pl what was that noise? That sounded like someone fired an incendiary round. What would they be firing an incendiary round at, considering they're invisible? You know, don't worry about it in a minute. That is... We're going to drive that centipede insane, and hopefully they turn around and target it. And... Oh! Um... Hmm. Well, that's not good. Tell you what, why don't we just uh, do that? Perfect. Okay. That was okay. Maybe that was a little bit preemptive. Have they have they done it? Oh, excellent. Okay, okay. So, that one's insane. That should cause a distraction, cause all of them to focus all their attention on that. Now, our job is to make a centipede mosh pit and skip out the ones we can. Pretty much like we've done in some of the previous episodes, though. That was a while ago. Um, and we have a lot more... Po I just realized, with those four extra troops we've got from the Empire, that, that should make a decent difference. If it wasn't for... Who is it? Gratian? Yeah, it turns out we killed their lover. It was one of those tribals we, we butchered a while back. Oops. Get over it, man. Uh, yeah, we'll make a centipede mosh pit down here and we'll start teleporting people in. Nails, unfortunately, do you have... Yeah, you do not have skip. Uh, using Berserk or Berserk Pulse on these is, is useless. It basically... They have a 50% resist versus Psy weapon, so if you say grab this here and go like... Oh, give me, a, give me something with range. Oh, come on. Here we go. We'll go with focus. They have a psychic sensitivity of 0 0.75, and these ones have psychic sensitivity of 0.5. It's basically a reduction in how, how long your uh, your psi weapons will have an effect on them. You know, you can put this to have a psi sensitivity of 1.1. The higher it is, the longer it will last. The lower it is, as in 0 0.5, the, lo less, uh, the less time it will last. Plus, they stop killing each other really quick. Anyway, no, no, I need to stop yapping, and I need to put together a kill box really quickly. Why do I do this to myself? Oh, wait. Yeah, pressure. It's the pressure. It's just the pressure. Oh, wow, that grenade is landing in a bad spot. Okay, I'm going to need all of you to run away that direction and you to run that direction. Uh, Pinky, you have a skip. Let's skip them that direction. Index. Oh, my God. 
skip them that direction, uh, ring, skip them that direction, and you two just run. Oh, god damn it. Knuckles, how you doing, buddy? You just, oh, that's actually a brute. How did you not take damage? You were right in the blast radius, and Irene, you were in the blast radius, and you were in the blast radius. Okay, uh, Nails, I'm gonna need you to come over here, and never ever am I giving you grenades again. Okay, that was a waste of a few teleports, but it's fine. Since no one died, I'm okay with it. Now we need to get back over here quickly before this other centipede dies, and uh, we're back to dealing with these problems again. Uh, Chief, over here, yep, middle, yep, ground, 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 Irene, yeah, over there, bah, bah, bah. Alright, thumb. Front and center, you've got a lot of skip potential, so we're going to get you to start skipping. Uh, actually, we'll take one of these. Okay, that was pretty quick. And now I'll get you to take that one, and put him there. Pretty perfect, Jesus. Alright, now we're just going to take one of these. I'd prefer to take one of the, um, the one with the machine gun, or the guns. The Inferno ones can't hurt each other, so having one of those around is not a problem. Then it just means they got to deal with Lancers, which, yeah, no one cares. So I think we take that one. 83% health? Yeah, I think that's probably our best target. Though I'm beginning to realise it was a waste of a doomsday showing it in on those. Um, oh my god, and I grenaded myself. What the hell? Remain calm. Remain calm. Okay, you are going to start running forward. We want to get you in range of... Ooh. Let's keep an eye out. If anyone starts turn, that person just turned towards you. That's not good. Sorry, you gotta die. Uh, just we can't have you doing that. Grant. Then uh, let's have another quick teleport here from middle. Put you right there, in the middle. And where nails? Get in there, chief. Get in there. Okay, they should be dead really quick. Uh, chief, you can't. Why can't you get a bead, chief? Oh, never mind. Right, that leaves me thumb way out in the open. Get back into cover, buddy. All right. Another one bites the dust and Oh, they killed the other one. Right. Uh, insanity lance, I'm thinking. Who did we have the insanity lance on again? All right, nails. We're going to need you up front. And uh, yeah, right about there. We need to get off an insanity shot. Uh, ooh, a little bit more, a little bit more. There you go. Perfect. Now pull back. Hopefully they're going to keep killing each other. Oh come on, seriously? There's there's someone over there you can shoot. No, nope, that person's targeting us. They gotta go. These is all got to go. actually. We'll pull everyone back a little bit. We'll have to sit back up the mosh pit, but it's fine. Yep, there we go. They're all fighting each other. Perfect. Now we can start picking off the, the stragglers. We'll just have Ring and Thumb do the skipping, and then everyone else can stay over here ready for the mosh pit. So, Thumb, you... Don't, wait, why do you want to clean that room? Don't bother. And uh, we'll have you come over here. And we'll get you to do a quick skip. And uh, that gets him down there. And then we daisy chain him on a bit. Done. Oh, damn it. Uh, close enough. All right, that just leaves a few more. Yeah, this will only be a few more minutes and we should have this whole place cleared out. Oh, kill box. Mm. Not good. Not good. Not good. Oh, I'm going to have to keep an eye on that. Ooh. We might just want to rush these down. Might. Oh, no, we can't. There's just there's four of them left. I'd rather not. Though, considering what we have over here, we need to get... We still have the travel distance of getting over there and we've got to deal with a Lancer. A Pikeman, a couple more Lancers. Ooh. Hmm, I think we are. We'll have to leave a few people behind here to take care of this, and I hate splitting my forces, but it's, I think it's the smart plan. Better plan. We leave behind Thumb, Pamela, and Index. Those three are going to stay behind here until, well, either this kills all three of them, or these three kill it. With three people left behind, all armed with jump jet packs, we should be able to swarm, well, one way or another we'll have one person to swarm each one, and we can jump, jump jet into close combat, meaning we won't have to worry about running them down. Uh, at the same time, we're going to get all of them, and we're going to start sending them over here to our kill box as quickly as possible. Off you go. Yeah, I'm thinking maybe the centipedes kills one more of them. Oh god, no. Its accuracy is shot to hell. I mean, literally, it's probably lost some uh, of its optical sensors or such. Alright, everyone in here quickly, quickly, quickly. 
Ooh. How do we deal with this is the question. I suppose to be shoot down the early ones and then melee the later ones, or a bit of both? Hmm. Let me think. We'll, we'll decide when we actually get there. Also, we've got some EMP grenades we can use, but that would uh, kind of negate the shielding on here on Gentros. Hmm. I'm thinking EMP grenades and guns for now. We'll switch back to the, to the other weapons in a minute. And oh god, they killed it. Hmm. Okay, let me uh, organize these. Everyone here is now assigned a position. They should all go. Oh, and I forgot to put in our frontline layer there so we could st stick down their melee defenders. All right, what are they doing? What are they doing? Are they thinking? Come on, you've killed them. Come on, there's a bunch of tasty pawns down here for you to attack. Make your move, make your move. Ah, look, even that guy knows what's going on. Perfect. That's exactly what we want. Now, come on, come on. You are so close. Come on, come on. Nice. Okay. We will... Okay, where's this other guy? You're, you're going to destroy a shelf. You know what? I am okay with you destroying that shelf. Uh, you get into melee range with that one. Just, uh, I don't want any of them getting any shots off. Perfect. Done. That just leaves one more to go. Uh, you know what? What do you take it? You got no, no, no. Okay, okay. Done, done, and done. And over here we are ready for a meet and greet. Perfect. Yes. Let's make sure this one doesn't get off a shot. Done. All right. All of you, this side. I'm afraid there's no time to rest and enjoy the fruits of your labor. And uh, what did they destroy over here? Oh, just damage the shelf. That is good. And we have one person coming over here to pick up their gun. We uh, unfortunately left someone. <laughs> we left someone without a weapon. The person who uh, switched to Doomsday nails. Yeah, there they go. They're re-equipped again. So you're drafted up. Get back here, front line, please. Okay, good, good, good. Uh, we're not using EMP grenades for the starting wave. The reason is we don't really need the EMP grenades for the light ones, but for the centipedes, hmm, for the centipedes, we might actually hit them with a bit of uh, teleport and get them into close combat. Rest of the team are all inbound. Oh, and we'll make sure that they'll all switch to their preferred weapons of choice, which is, you know, ranged stuff. Uh, we don't want to get too close to these if we can avoid it for now. I keep forgetting they're monstrous at pretty much anything. Close combat, range combat, they can kill with the best of them in any particular configuration you want to throw them into. Alright, uh, centipedes are getting close, but I think we'll hold that a little bit. Once the centipedes come in, we'll use the EMP grenades on them. Oh, and I should point out, still, still day 11. Yep, still day 11 on the engine. Oh, how are you able to stand there? That should not be possible. In fact, I, I don't really want you standing there at all. Uh, who's got a teleport on them? Middle. Can you... Oh my god, they can't reach them because they're in there. You know what? I am going to pull people back a bit. They shouldn't be able to stand on top of the uh, the chunks, unless we actually destroyed one of the chunks, did we? Oh, I think we destroyed one of the chunks, did we? Ah, never mind. We do have a beckon on Grattan here, which... Oh god. That should cause them to charge forward. Ooh. Yep. We somehow left a hole there for them now. Done. Uh, which reminds me, get me middle. Middle, I want you... Ooh. The thing is, I think we should probably tell it. We can probably teleport the chunk in there if we need to. You know what, we'll leave it for the time being. We'll leave it for the time being and worry about it when they get to the centre. Well... Yeah, I'm really beginning to regret calling in the, the Empress. So we have another raid. A uh, group of mechanoids, they're dropping right on top of us and they're going to attack immediately. Oh my sweet Jesus in heaven. Yes, and it's still only the 11th day. Oh my god. <laughs> what the... <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Uh, yeah, give me, give me, give... Uh, I need to, I need to come up with a plan. Uh, yeah, this, 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 this might take a second. This might, this might take more than a couple of seconds. On the grounds that a bad plan is better than no plan at all, we're going to have Middle come over here. Their job is they have an insanity lance. We're going to zap a couple of them. If we can zap a couple of them and get them to fight it out while we take care of this, that would be great. At the same time, we're going to have Thumb go over here and open this door. Then we're going to lock this door behind us. Hopefully, that should mean even if they do finish up, they should try and go all the way around the base to get to us. Or they might just try blasting through the walls. I'm not sure, honestly. Um... Yeah, this, this, this could be bad. I'm also going to have this light moved back one step, just so that if we need to, we can do a wall raise, because currently that light is in the way. Wall raise will seal it off by us some more time if needs be. 
we, we cannot face both of these at once. We just can't do it. It's not possible, okay? I'm sorry, Randy, but I can't. Oh! Right in Ephemera's bedroom? She is going to be so pissed. Damn it! Damn it, damn it, damn it, because now... Mm. Right, you. You. Uh, you. I want all three of you in there, and I want you to get down to that section right there. We're going to need you to uh, kill whatever's in there. Otherwise, if we lose that bed, I don't think we can replace it, and I do not want to deal with a royal temper tantrum. All right, how are everyone else doing? Pamela's moved that. That's great. Pamela, back onto the line. Uh, guns first, please. All right, so Pamela's back on the line. Uh, Pinky, you are going to... Three, two... Perfect. Okay, so middle's invisibilized. That should keep them safe from any initial backlash. How are we doing in the front here? Okay, those people are still coming in. Right, uh, no, we don't want skip, we want insanity. Uh, make them murder each other. Okay, and then make that one murder the others. Ugh, right, they're gonna shoot through the back of that guy. Okay, that's fine, that's fine. We'll have you run that direction. Okay, Pinky, you are going to... No, no, actually, Nails is going to hold fire. Whew. Okay, okay. You haven't destroyed the bed. That is good, that is good. Uh, melee them into oblivion, please. Also, oh my god, you're so slow. I forgot, you've got the can't, gimpy leg. Right, no, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Uh, middle, out of the way. Nails, you are set at whole fire, and we're going to get you to wall raise now. <laughs> all right, all right, okay. That gives us a chance. That gives us a chance. Um, how's the bed looking? 92%. You better appreciate this, Your Highness, because this is costing us. All right, how's everyone else doing in there? Um, all right, so fire at will, I believe, is now the order of the day. And we've got a Lancer coming in, so make sure that Lancer dies. Okay, perfect. Oh, wow, so that's nine centipedes dropping right in the center of her base. That's... Randy, you, my cup runneth over with your joyous giving. All right, you, over there. Uh, God, I can just hear that horrible mess going on over there, and I just... Uh, come on. How are they not dead yet? Come on, come on. Beat the snot out of them. Knuckles is earning her name. Oh my God, that's so much fire. Oh, crud. I let the centipedes get in. All right, we need to start teleporting them in closer. In fact, I think it may be time for... How did they even get ahead of the pikemen? They must be some very bad injured pikemen. I think it's time for a mosh pit. It may be our only choice. Yeah, we're going to have to mosh these ones and make sure they die. We're going to get Pamela over here. She can skip that one out front. Perfect. Yeah, so that guy is almost dead, but I think it's time we started rushing people down. Yeah, we need to do this quickly because these ones over here are dying. Their mental state is berserk, they're definitely insane and all that, but yeah, eventually they're going to die to the overwhelming firepower of everything around them. And also, they're burning all my dandelions, which I know I shouldn't be annoyed about. We have bigger concerns right now, but still, that annoys me. Oh, now, if you were, you still, you still, yep. Glad to see you haven't, uh, haven't had any bad things happen to you today and you're, you're taking it easy. Oh my god, where's all that blood come from? Never mind, never mind. We will worry about the animals later. For now, we're going to worry about keeping our pawns alive. Uh, I think we bum rush this one down, make sure it doesn't cause any problems. Plan set. Everyone's going to rush in. Okay, done, 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 done. Uh, everyone get in there. Nails, no! Bold, Nails, bold! Use your, just use your gun. Jesus Christ. Okay, middle. Uh, you get that one. Uh, Pinky, I want you to slam the one in the rear just to make sure that it, it just... If we can hit it, we can maybe cause it to get EMP it. Oh, yes. Nice. Pamela, uh, you are good, but I want you to get up front there. And Gentros, you can slowly limp your way forward as well. You need to get a little bit closer so you're not hurting your people. Everyone there still good. Oh, my God. How are you doing, Knuckles? Oh, yeah, we're going to pay for that one. We're going to pay for that one a lot. At least your torso has only got minor damage, so I don't see you. Yeah, you're good, you're good, you're good. But a couple more hits could be bad. 
Okay. Okay, that's dead, dead. One left. Okay, dead, dead, dead. That leaves one centipede, one lancer. Oh, two centipedes. Okay. Okay, okay. Let me just cut a deal with this. Oh, is it wrong that I don't want to go anywhere near this just yet? Uh, we only have one insane one left and they're on 15% health. That means they're going to be finished here very shortly. And I don't know exactly where they're going to go. They st might start smashing through walls or they might go all the way around like we hope to that entrance. Mm. I really hope they don't go in here though. Uh, yeah, because replacing that gold bed is not an option. Yeah, let me think. Uh, we'll have to leave a small force behind to take care of these. That centipede is going to take forever to make it around, so we don't have to worry about that one too much. That one will be a lot faster, and that lancer is the only thing slowing down this one. So, hmm. one moment. Plan is very simple. We're going to leave Pamela and Pinky behind. The two of them are going to face tank whatever's left. They've got a, a Zeus hammer, and they've got a, a, a very nice mono sword. The two of them should be able to cleave through that reasonably easily. Hopefully. That's, that's the plan. Now, we're going to run the crew through here, and down at the other side. If we can start luring these down here and around the corner, we can set up a, a similar sort of mosh pit, use some insanity lances. Actually, we want to stop and pick up some insanity lances along the way. I am really glad that I was advised to use insanity lances or save or stockpile insanity lances for the end of the game, which is what I've did. And you know what? Absolutely best thing ever. These psychic insanity lances have saved us so much hassle and we've still got eight more. Whew. And we're going to need them all. Okay, we're down to one pawn there. Seriously. Oh, yes, they killed it. Okay, get out of there. Get out of there. Uh, we're going to get you down here. We want to start drawing them down to that corner. And can any of you... Oh, no, you've got shield belts. We're not taking the shield belts off the melee people. Uh, you two are going to stay here. And we're going to have you stay each side of the door. The moment they put their faces through the door, you're going to smash it. And what's going on? Undignified bedroom. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry for inconveniencing you at this particular moment, but uh, we're a little bit busy. We'll we'll fix up your bedroom later. You know, we'll put a roof on it and stuff. Uh, where are they going? Uh, I think they're going the long way around. Good, 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 good. Oh, mm, do we really want them to go in that far? Let me think for a moment. I think this this one's going too fast. We might want to make our stand somewhere further, oh, further over there. I think we commit. We definitely commit to this section. Uh, these ones are going to take a while to get there, it seems. We just got to take care of this early initial Lancer. If we can take care of that, the rest of the team can arrive here in time. And I'm thinking we can sucker them in close by using the beckon ability on one of them here. Come on, come on, come on. Yep, through the door. Yep. There's a fire. Really? Oh! Damn it! Okay, uh, you. Uh, do you fight fires? Please tell me you don't have any uh, problems with fighting fires. No, you do not. Uh, wait. Yet yeah, you can fight fires. We are going to stick you right there, and we're going to make sure you don't go through that door. No one's that. Mm, actually, we can't have that, otherwise, we won't fight the fire. All right, you go take care of that. Everyone else is going to come down here and take care of this. Uh, where's this guy? Okay, you. I want you to beckon that one there. Come on. All right, that means everyone else can come down here and get ready for a little bit of a good old fashioned mosh pit. <sighs> okay, okay. And that just leaves them and a few other bits and bobs. I think. I think we are well set for this. We are well set indeed. Okay. Uh, all of you, I want you to melee attack that one. Ooh, centipede's about to come around the corner. I'm going to need the rest of you here. Toot sweet. Oh, just like that. Okay, nails, get out of there. You don't actually have any. <laughs> I left your sword behind. Sorry, buddy. We'll, we'll fix you in a minute. Right, uh, you open fire, that's okay, chief. Nope. Middle. Yes, Invi you can skip. Skip them right there. Where are we missing people? Damn it. Oh, Irene. Yeah, they're slowly, slowly, slowly getting here. Irene, you can go there. While this is going on, though, we also got to deal with the Lancer and the Centipede that have just arrived. Okay, perfect. Uh, damn it. Can you attack that one? Damn it, they can't get through. Um... Please tell me that one's not lining up a shot. Uh, right, you down here, you're killing that. That Lancer's about to come around the corner in a second. We can smash it in the face. Well, no, we'll teleport that one in as well. Quick bit of uh, changes here. Nails is going to go over there, pick up their sword, pop back there, grab a psychic insanity lance. Uh, Pamela's going to switch to her gun so she can fire some shots at that Lancer. Once the Lancer's down and Pinky can get in range of that centipede, we should be much... Well, I'll feel much safer. And then down here... Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Finish that centipede before the Lancer. 
Yep, that lancer's starting to take a bead. That means we need to do a teleport right about now. Skip you. Uh, we're going to skip them right there. Oh, crap. Oh, wow. That was bad. Whew, they got a shot off, and that deflected off Chief. That could have been very uncomfortable. In fact, Chief, you have called aid. Uh, Aerodrone Salvo? Yeah, that's a little bit of a bigger blast radius than we really want to deal with right now. That would have been perfect earlier with a larger raid, but uh, for for drop pods right in the middle of your base, not so good. Okay. Where is... where are they? Where are they? Come on, Nails, I'm going to need you back here shortly. Okay, I think plan should be fairly straightforward. We need to cause a bit of a distraction so we can take care of some of these. I'm thinking we use a berserk. We grab just a, a plain berserk. Right, we plain berserk this one. Right. Perfect. Now, they're going to be insane for just a little bit, so we then skip them. Wait, what the hell? Is that two of them on top of each other? Okay, never mind. We uh, skip one of them back. We skip it back. Uh, to there, that should hopefully distract them long enough. Oh, God, did I just... I skipped the wrong one. I should have paid more attention, but come on, they were right inside each other. Okay, you. Come on, come on. Okay, they're fighting each other. No, now it's decided to fight us. Well, that's not what we wanted. Thumb. Skip them right over there. Uh, actually, yeah, yeah, we'll skip them right over there. Uh, you need to skip this one right in here. And you have your grenades out again. Stop trying to switch to grenades. Oh my god. You're an absolute monster. Okay, there we go. Okay. It's... Ah! Did... No, I just... No. Oh. Oh. Yep. This is the thing that nightmares are made of. Uh, you need to do that there. You need to skip that one over... Well, let's we'll skip you right over here. Okay, okay, there we go, there we go. Damn it, some of them are still on fire. This is this is going to be bad. Uh, right, 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 right. Knuckles. No, Knuckles, hold it together. Hold it together. Uh, damn it, damn it, damn it. Who else is... You're good. You've got water skip. Do that right there, immediately. Great, that missed everyone. Guys, could you stop being on fire for a minute? We're in the middle of a fight here, okay? <laughs> hey, Irene. Uh, prioritizing and extinguish the fire on them. And great, that fire is like right there. That's really annoying because we can't move that person to reinforce. How are we looking over here? Dear Lord. Nice. Okay, they killed all of those and they required no interaction from us. Uh, yeah, come down here and help us. Uh, that, damn it, that one fire shot. We were going so well until that point. Okay, uh, you're right, you're right, you're right. Gordian, unfortunately, is not. Uh, prioritizing and extinguishing the fire on them. Index is on fire. Prioritizing and extinguish the fire on them. Come on, come on, come on. Just stand still long enough to get your fire extinguished. Whew, okay, okay. Melee, melee attack. That's it. Oh, here they come some more. Where's Nails? Nails, you're the one with the actual uh, psychic insanity lens that we need right now. Okay, perfect. There you are. We want you to do a bit of a psycho analysis on that one. Oh, God. Yeah, I just saw that extra fire. This is going horribly wrong. This is why I'm so paranoid about things. You make one mistake, like one little fire blast here, and we were we were totally messed up. Uh, I think they're targeting Gordian over here because I can't get a bead on that, so I'm assuming they're targeting Gordian. Hopefully they make it to safety. If they don't, we can teleport them. Uh, Nails is going to come out here so we can get a line, and we want to drive that one insane. Yep, there we go. Oh, ow. Yep, Gordian's hit. Damn it. I need you to go a little bit further, Nails. A little bit further. Uh, we'll have to rescue Gordian in a second. Damn it! I... <clears throat> Nails? Further it is, I'm afraid. Into the lion's den. Okay, perfect, perfect. They've been aggressioned. Uh, Chief, you don't have a teleport. Irene, you don't have teleport. Thumb, you do. I want you to skip them right over here. Uh, the reason we're going to skip them is it also puts them out. Oh, God. Oh, God, no. Oh, all that's bad. Uh, Nails, run to cover. All the rest of you, run that direction. You know what? We're all running that direction right now. Every single last one of you, we want you out of the line of fire. And middle. 
we're going to want you to do a quick skip just to try and save that pawn. Perfect. Okay. How are they back on fire again? I skipped them. Okay. Uh, we need to kill these three. These three need to go. Those two should hopefully be distracted long enough by this one, which is currently aggression scrambled and berserk. All right. Thumb. Give me a skip. Right to there. Perfect. Uh, you need to engage that one if we can at least stun that. Okay, grand. And Gordian. <clears throat> you know what, Nails? Uh, no. Actually, I think all of them are on cooldown right now. Uh, we can... Yeah. Put them right there. Nope. Failed. Okay, that leaves us one Lancer over there. The rest of you... Uh, damn it. Put that guy out. All the rest of you tuck into this one. Okay, done, 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 done. Irene, God damn <laughs> uh, No, I don't want you to. You know what? No one wants to put them out. That's fine. They're the emperor's finest. I'm sure they'll they'll get over it. Uh, all of you, I want you to melee attack that one there. Okay, thumb. Uh, Teleport them to right there, would you? And you put them out. Come on, come on. Don't don't run around the corner, you muppet. Alright, done, done, and done. Uh, we just need to kill one lancer and a couple of centipedes, and then we will have survived whatever attack this is. I, I can't remember. This hurt. This hurt an awful, awful lot. Uh, this hurt way too goddamn much. You, get in there. Just die instantly if you wouldn't mind. That would be great. Pamela, maybe a little bit less trigger happy there. Major break risk. I don't blame anyone who's about to have a major break risk right now. Ah! Oh! My dandelions. You monsters. Okay, uh, let's start teleporting them into kill range, shall we? Actually, I'm pretty sure... Yeah, that one's going to kill that one. That one has no chance of doing any damage to it. We'll let some people go back to work. We should let some people get some medical attention right about now. Actually, you know what? We'll kill these off really quick, and then we'll cut out the episode there, because they are miles behind schedule, and there is way too much stuff that needs doing. All right, we are going to charge forward here, move forward our kill box, and... Oh. Is that thing's not... Aggression's still not scrambled? Yeah, it's still berserk. You are... Okay, perfect. Now, you get up here. Uh, middle. You got juice for this? Yeah, you do. Okay, they don't seem to be bothering with us. Okay, I think... Hmm, which one's weaker? You got 22%, you got 44%. i am thinking... We'll teleport that one in there. Okay, and then we'll get this one over here and... Oh, wait. We'll get you to beckon that one. Yee <laughs> So while that's slowly wandering its way over there, we get us plenty of time to skip it into the middle. Oh wow. Done. I can't believe it, it's dead. <laughs> okay, we survived the first few waves. It's uh, still 11 days. Okay, so we've survived like a day and a half so far. Day and a half, that's all it's been this episode, a day and a half. Still gotta go ahead and kill that smoke spear, but that'll give us a little bit of a, a bonus to our happiness, and oh god. Those things are assemblers. I'm going to have to go ahead and kill those first things. But no, no, I am I am miles over time on this episode. Apologies for the length of time it took. But you have to be really careful in these things. Because if you mess up even a little bit, like that one incendiary round has caused us so much pain and injury. Eh, never mind. I'm beginning to think that we may not survive. Even with the, how badass the murder munchkins are. This was six raids in two days. Like, we cannot keep up this pace. With six raids every two days, we just won't have time to heal up. Even scratches will eventually need time to heal, and we just don't have the time. As well as that, these, uh, the two knights and the dame, they won't eat anything that's not, uh, their preferred food types. And I'm not letting them eat the royal jelly, because if they eat all the royal jelly, we won't have anything left for the empress. Oh, damn it. So, do I make them fine meals? But to make them fine meals, I need vegetables. I don't have any vegetables, uh, around here. Though I have found some scraps. We have found some fine meals lying out here. We may have to go out and scavenge them. That may allow us to keep them from going crazy or starving to death. We, we can maybe force them to eat. I've tried forcing them to eat, but 
it seems like if you try and uh, get them to eat a food like a uh, right here below requirements of dame not good if this continues at this kind of pace it, it's not a question of if we survive until engine activation or empress leaves it's more a case of how long we can survive yeah we'll have to see i don't know one way or the other it should be at least mildly entertaining anyway i hope you enjoyed and uh, good luck <laughs>